If you take an object back in time and leave it there, you create a classic time travel puzzle known as a causal loop or bootstrap paradox. In this situation, the object appears to have no clear point of origin. It exists without ever being created in the usual sense. Imagine you take a book from the present and travel back a hundred years, leaving it behind. Someone in the past finds it, preserves it, and eventually it ends up in your hands in the future, the same book you later take back in time. The question arises, where did the book originally come from? It wasn't written in the past because it was already there. It wasn't created in the future either because its existence depends on being sent back. The object exists in a self-contained loop with no external starting point. From a classical view of cause and effect, this is deeply troubling. Everything we know seems to require a cause. A causal loop violates that intuition by allowing an object to exist without ever being created. However, some interpretations of physics allow this kind of loop as long as the timeline is self-consistent, meaning no contradictions occur. One way physicists address this is through the Novikov self-consistency principle, which states that if time travel to the past is possible, events will unfold in a way that prevents paradoxes. In this view, the object doesn't need an origin outside the loop. Its existence is simply a feature of space-time as a whole. Another approach involves multiple timelines or branching universes. In that case, when you take the object back, it enters a different timeline. The object then has an origin in your original timeline, even though it appears out of nowhere in the new one. Philosophically, the paradox challenges our idea that everything must have a beginning. It suggests that causation might not always be linear. Instead of causes flowing forward in time, they could form closed circles. So where did the object originally come from? In a single timeline universe, it didn't come from anywhere. It simply exists in a loop. In a multiverse, it came from another branch of reality. Either way, the question exposes how deeply our understanding of reality depends on time flowing in only one direction, and how strange things become when that assumption breaks.